Hi, my name is Aarti Sampath and welcome back to yet another episode. Today we're talking about my knife kit. I'm always asked this question, as a chef, what do you have in your knife kit? And today we're going to know. So this knife kit, I've had this ever since I went to culinary school. I just never got a new one, but I do have a lot of exciting toys in here that I've collected over the years. Firstly, all my knives always have a full tang, which means the blade starts and ends right to the bottom, which means it's a very high quality knife. So whenever you're trying to pick a knife, make sure it's full tang. A lot of my knives are Japanese, so they have a 70-30 blade, which means it's a little more uh, tilted to one side than the other. This makes for a sharper edge. I always have a three and a half inch, four inch uh, paring knife. This is just for like small, easy tasks. I have this inexpensive turning knife. It's used to turn potatoes, vegetables, very used in very classic uh, French dishes. I like this, I always like to keep this. It's nice if you want to just peel off like the top of a carrot. It's, it's a useful tool to always have in your kit. And then for kitchen knives, I have two kitchen knives. I have this nice stainless steel UX10 uh, kitchen knife. It's like very high quality steel. Another tip with knives, if you're buying expensive knives, you have to clean your knife very, very well and keep it as dry. I have this carbon steel knife that I absolutely adore. I've had this for over five years. Uh, it makes the most beautiful edge. It does have a tendency to rust which is why I always carry this rust rubber. It basically, you can rub off any of the rust with this. I always have this in my toolkit. We as chefs strongly believe that every knife has a very particular task, which is why I have, this is, this is a poultry knife. Again, another Japanese knife, just the way it is designed with that tip that's got an edge to get through uh, bone to go through like little nooks and crannies when you're cutting uh, maybe a whole chicken or squab. Oh my god, I'm a complete fan of this one. This uh, this Japanese uh, molybdenum knife is a steak knife. It's used to cut uh, large pieces of meat to really go through like nooks and crannies of bone. I'm, a, I'm very fond of this knife. Just because the way the, the blade looks, it's just, it's such a different design, but it does the job incredibly well. Perfect for, for cutting steak. Now that we're done with knives, let me go on to the smaller tools that I always carry with me. Always have a fish spatula. This is one of the biggest secrets to super crispy fish skin. You could just slide it under your fish skin and just turn it around. It's it, because the uh, the spatula is so thin, it works really well. I always have a pair of kitchen shears. These are super, super sharp and they can just cut through crab claws, cut through bone. Also used if you want to like chiffonade some uh, herbs on top of your dish. Cake tester. This is such an easy tool. It's, it's great for checking temperatures of your meats. Uh, we usually like to just feel the warmth. Also, if you want to know if your, if your fish is cooked all the way, it's great for cakes, desserts, obviously. I always carry a brush. This is to finish off uh, desserts if you want to do an egg wash, uh, to finish off a bread with some butter. So always having a nice quality uh, brush in your tool kit is essential. I always carry also another small uh, inexpensive paring knife. I'm obsessed with offset spatulas. These are so great to like ice a tiny cake or to like pick up a piece of protein. They're a very versatile tool and I always have them. You cannot go wrong with an oyster shucker. You never know when you're gonna get some oysters and you wanna eat them fresh. So always have oyst an oyster shucker. I cannot live without a mandolin. These are just so cool. You get three kinds of blades. You could just slice potatoes really thin, slice carrots. Uh, you can make little ribbons. I love this tool. I always have a tiny uh, mandolin. 
zesters, all kinds of citrus zests are perfect with the zesting tool. I always like to have them. This particular tool was uh, an amazing find. This is actually um, a bottle opener as well as a can opener. You see how tiny and concise this is? It's, it's so incredible and it was really cheap as well. Oh, I almost forgot a bread knife, an inexpensive bread knife again. This is great for cutting tomatoes, slicing up some bread, uh, and it's great to always have one. I love cutting fish, and if you love cutting fish, you always need to have a tweezer. This is perfect for pulling out fish. And along with that, I also have a fish knife. This Molob Denim Beauty, again, just like can cut through thin bone, it just goes through, uh, you know, like the gills, the head, it can just cut really easy and it's very stable. I love how it feels in my hand. Simply put, if you're a professional or you really love how to cook, it's very important to have a tool for each job, just like how a carpenter would. And if you have any more questions and any more, if you would like any more suggestions on where to find uh, the right knife, please write to me. And if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe and like uh, Chef Arti Sampath and see you soon.